My name's Mary. I'm always looking forward to my next adventure. The hosts that I stay with that stand out in my mind are the ones that really put the personal touch and the personal feel. Just showing them this is not just a hotel. This is a place where you feel accepted and at home. That was really something I wanted to bring into my everyday life and see if there was a livelihood I could create with it. So now it's been four years since I have been co-hosting. Every day is different, every day is an adventure. Things come up and you can't plan for them. You just have to be able to roll with it and that's kind of part of the fun. I am the eyes and the ears on the ground that allow people to really feel like their baby, their Airbnb is in the best hands because I'm going to do everything possible for a five-star review. The most important service of an Airbnb is the cleaning. And I take a high, high level of attention to making sure it's continuously done right with cleaning audits and hiring and training a very experienced Airbnb cleaning team. The reason why my hosts love me and I get referrals is because they can really be as involved or not involved in a listing as they want to. When I started my co-hosting business on my own, it was very important for me to not have a host pay for anything that they didn't want to. That's why everything that I offer, every service is a la carte. It's personalized to you. I can take it from something that's never been on Airbnb before or a current one that you just maybe need help with. And it could be for a temporary or permanent amount of time. That is, I think, what sets me apart from all these other commercial co-hosting or property management companies. Commercial property management companies that do this, it's either all or nothing. And I never ever want anybody to pay or have to pay for something that they don't mean me for. My hosts are able to travel. Most of them are bi-coastal, like my co-host here. They're on the Appalachian Trail right now, no reception. And that takes a lot of trust. One of my other priorities that I pride myself on is communication and response time. That is both with the guests and the host. I really do whatever I can to be on call for both the host and the guest in any capacity. I make it clear that I'm reachable at any time of the night, any time of the day, for a guest issue and also a host issue. My passion and where I get really excited about is the unique listings on Airbnb. This particular Airbnb has a composting toilet, a Cobb pizza oven, a sauna that's off-grid and uses a stove. A lot of these unique listings have animals that need to be fed and livestock. I don't shy away from getting dirty. The reason why I named my co-hosting guest concierge service, you should Airbnb that, is because I find myself saying that constantly to people. Whether it be a boat or a parcel of land or just your backyard pool or jacuzzi that can be rented by the hour. That's a message that I would love to just kind of get out there is if you have anything, if you own property, I'd love to look at it and look at it with you and really come up with a really off the wall way that you could take your property and make income with it. I think a common misconception is people think I have to have an additional property and that's not true. You could have a room in your home. It could be a field and you could Airbnb that as a campsite, as an event venue, as an off-grid glamping site. One of the things that I'm always seeking when I'm a guest myself is the local attraction, the real culture of the area. It's more than just saying the best restaurants around. It's really taking the time to show them the secret gems of the area. Over the past two years, I've been exploring my passions, and one is Airbnbs, and the other is tiny living, affordable alternative housing, helping people find the resources to live more minimally, sustainably, and efficiently. That led to me co-founding a nonprofit for tiny houses and just tiny living structures. And being able to share that experience is so important for people that want to live that way but they need a chance to try it out. And that really just draws in a whole other community, which is the RV, camping, glamping, homesteading communities, vintage campers, airstreams, houseboats. The people in our community, they want to get there. That's why it's really important 
that these places are out there for people to just try and see if they can live in a camper or a very, very small 200 square foot house just for a weekend. If you have somewhere to put it, I can basically figure out how to appropriately and legally Airbnb it. Just being a guest, I think about how would I want the host to retreat me? I want to maintain that for the host and for the guests. And it just be not just a good stay, but just an amazing, memorable time and experience that they refer to their friends and family and to think about fondly forever. So whatever it is, if it's different, I probably really, really want to do it and really want to host it.